Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having an e-bike. It could be a factory one, the one that you bought already made, pre-built, or the one that you converted yourself. And if you guys want to know what are the symptoms of bad BMS sensor, that's the battery, the battery monitor sensor, guys. So this will explain what you, can, what you can expect when it goes bad, how you can fix it. It's not very expensive, you can do it yourself most of the times and you can save hundreds of dollars instead of buying a new battery. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car that we get usually here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We show you how to fix anything guys, from engines, transmissions, and, uh, uh, engine light codes, transmission codes, uh, bodywork, all that stuff. And why we guys do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And uh, guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience where you can get them from. So let's start on it now. So guys, the symptoms of bad BMS, that's the battery monitor sensor. What can you already can expect? Before we continue, we took that battery apart. We want to show you here guys some things. Now, that battery is a 48 volt battery, but when it's fully charged, it's about 54.6 and here guys okay the battery itself has quite a few cells on the inside as you can see it has 13 different sections each one consists of five battery cells so you end up having okay what is that uh, 13 times 5 65 right now each one of those okay each one of five batteries you can see like this one here is connected to a positive wire this is your charging wire guys and if you look right here now okay each one of those wires goes to the bms okay that's the one that controls that all the batteries should have about the same voltage all the different cells inside the battery and if they deviate it's not good that will be your, one of the first things that you have a bad bms and we want to conduct some tests guys here okay let me show you now we're going to go ahead and start testing the different cells. And if we come on this side now, check this thing out, this battery is 414, right? So that whole row, all of them are 414. The BMS does an amazing job. If we come to the next one, what happens here? Same thing, amazing. Okay, so far it's doing an amazing job. Until you guys come to right here, that row, Check this thing out, 364, 364, 364, 364, 364. We have a problem, guys. That row right here does not charge correctly. Now, what causes that? Bad BMS, guys. Now, when the battery monitor sensor goes bad, what can happen? It may not charge correctly the battery, which can result into limited range, the battery turning off all at sudden, the battery not charging, okay, or unpredictable battery behavior. It could be a result of bad BMS. But usually you can replace it yourself, it's not complicated, we'll be making a video, but there will be many videos on uh, YouTube how to do it yourself. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, see you next time.